All right, so we're live now. And let's see. So far, no attendees, but we are recording and we are live. So I did press the button this time. So, okay, looks like we have someone. Allison's joined us. Yay. All right. So let me give it a few more seconds to see if anyone else comes in. All right, we have some more people joining us. So I'm going to get started, everyone. So hello, uh, thank you for joining us for Grand Valley State University Seedman College of Business Information session. I am Wallace Holder, the Assistant Director of Admissions, and I hope you enjoy this 30 minute session. I'll be here in the background to answer any questions in the Q&A feature uh, throughout the session. So please feel free to type questions and I'll answer them privately or we may answer them live at the end of the presentation. Uh, when the panelists are done presenting, I'll unmute myself and go over a few more housekeeping items. So at this point, um, please allow me to introduce our faculty and staff from the Seatman College of Business. We have Joy Ganakura, Dana McCann, and Sarah Tibby, who will be offering a little bit from the advising and student perspective. So thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Wallace. Um, Dana and Sarah, we might want to just give a little more information about what we do to sort of put things in context for those who are joining us. Um, my name is Joy. I am the Associate Dean in the Seidman College of Business, and I work primarily on the student side, which I think is the best side of the house to work on. So I get to work with advising and professional development um, and all things student related that are outside of the actual classroom. And Dana, I'll turn it over to you. There we go. Okay, um, my name is Dana McCann and I'm a faculty member in the Seedman College of Business, specifically in the management department. I teach in our management information systems program and my specialty is SAP um, software and certification. And I also am on the student side, so which is very enjoyable. Um, I also do advising in the MIS program and work with our students in our um, management in the Enterprise Systems Student Union Student Organization. Thanks. And Sarah? Yeah, thanks, Dana and Joy. So as well as mentioned, I can kind of offer the advising and student perspective. So at GVSU, in addition to the lovely faculty members that you get, such as Professor McCann, you also have a lot of support, such as a professional advisors like myself. So we can kind of help you navigate college in of itself find a curriculum of best fit for you, pick the right classes for you so you can reach your personal and professional goals. That's kind of what we do. All right. So I'm going to share my screen here. We have a little presentation to sort of keep us on track and hope that um, this will at least help with um, maybe some of the questions you have. Here we go. So just starting out a little bit about the Seedman College of Business. Um, the business building itself or the college is housed in our downtown campus, which is on the Robert C. Pugh campus. Um, we have 13 undergraduate majors and six minors. And one of our pride points is that we are AACSB accredited. I don't know if that means a lot to, to you as you're looking at universities, um, but it is what I call the Cadillac of accrediting bodies for business. And it stands for the Association to Advance Collegiate Schools of Business. Basically what this means is that we are held to a very high standard and that we um, are always looking at quality improvement um, and that we do and have done what we say that we're going to do. And that's a very important thing. It also means that we have certain credentials our faculty need to possess um, and certain areas of assessment and currency of our programs. Um, in addition to our 13 undergraduate majors, we have four graduate programs and some additional credentials and certificates. Um, here's a list of our undergraduate majors. So you can see what they are. We have some asterisks next to some of them. Um, the single asterisk means that we also offer a minor in those areas. 
And then we have a couple of majors that do not stand alone. Um, those two are entrepreneurship and international business. We want students to have um, a second functional major along with those majors. Um, and quite honestly, to double major in two business disciplines is really only about three more courses than if you were to do a major and a separate minor. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, Dana McCann's department is right here, Management Information Systems, just as a point of this. Anything further to say about our, our general majors here, folks? Well, we do have some emphasis areas. So just to, um, to bring those up, I guess. Um, in marketing, for instance, we have an emphasis area in sales or distribution and logistics. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, we also, in the um, economics area, you can get a uh, business economics major or a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science in economics. It just depends on what you want to do in the economic world. The Seidman College of Business um, has something we call success standards. Um, these standards need to be met by students um, during their first couple of years before they can take their upper division courses. And so students gain access to those upper division classes, which are 300 level courses and above, once they've met some of these standards. Um, and those are junior standing or 55 credit hours earned. That's a combination. So if you're transferring in some credits or you have AP credit or um, dual enrollment, that counts towards those 55 credit hours. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of trying to anticipate what your question might be. Um, also, you need to establish a GPA at GVSU of a 2.5 or above, um, and then also have a 2.5 or above in these six courses that are listed here. Again, some of these classes might be classes that you are taking for dual enrollment, or if you're starting at a community college and transferring in later, um, the accounting 212 is one of those, the business law, micro macroeconomics, um, Management 268 is a very unique course to GVSU and very seldom um, do we see an equivalency to that. And that is the sort of the gatekeeper introduction course to management information systems. Mm -hmm. And then STATS 215, which um, is, it also fits into a gen ed category. Econ does as well. So there's a little bit of double counting that goes on with these classes and some of the classes that you're taking in general education. Anything that anybody wants to add to that? So I would like to add, um, uh, many of these courses are also, well, most of these courses are taught in a format that is consistent across the departments as well. So in case you're wondering if um, the Management 268 or the BUS 201 that you took was um, easier or harder or that you might have um, consistent curriculum and the way these courses are taught across the departments mm -hmm. because they are um, our core, our entry level core courses. Yeah, that's a great point, Dana, thank you. So we use um, some common approaches, common um, textbooks and so forth to make sure everyone's sort of on that, that uh, even keel going into those upper division classes. So yeah, great point, thank you. Um, we also have, um, you may fit into this category, um, something called the Dean's Early Access Invitation. Um, these are for students who are um, coming in with a very high GPA. Um, and so you have to be first admitted to GVSU and then have a 3.5 GPA um, coming into the university. Uh, and if that is the case, um, we will waive the 55 credit hour requirement before you take those upper division classes. Um, and that's something that you receive an invitation to straight from our office. Um, if you fall into that category, we can certainly um, talk to you about that as, uh, as time goes on. Um, a little bit more about the curriculum. So, um, you know, students really, we know you have a career in mind. And, and if you're joining us today, we know that you're interested in business in some way, shape, matter, or form. Um, and the sooner you're able to get acquainted with the business curriculum, the better and you wanna feel like you're making some progress. So what we do is we integrate the courses that you need um, along with those in general education, which are required um, 
for a liberal education, along with some of those classes in your major. So as you go through, we're really um, weaving in general education along with the pre uh, core classes for business or those success standards courses. And then as you get into those upper division courses, you will be then launching into your major. Um, the thing that uh, I want to emphasize too is if you know you want business, but you're not sure what flavor of business you want, the, um, the business core is a great way to get acquainted with all the different disciplines. Mm -hmm. Our core is really, I call it the baby MBA because you really are taking a little bit of everything, accounting, finance, econ, management, um, all of those disciplines. And you get enough to know whether or not you want to know more about that discipline. You'll be meeting with faculty, um, engaging with other students, working with the career center to determine, you know, whether it's marketing or finance or MIS that seem to resonate most with you. So it's okay if you come into business and don't know exactly what major you want. If you know you want something in business, you have plenty of time and a lot of great courses to take that will help you feel really comfortable with the major that you're going to choose. The major Wait. itself is about 21 credit hours. Yeah, Dana. Oh, that was Sarah. I just wanted to clarify or confirm too that actual application process for the College of Business there is, while there are secondary admission requirements, which are those success standards, there's no formal second application that you have to complete. Mm -hmm. So if students declare any of those business related majors that we previously showed, um, be it general business or something more specific such as marketing, um, as long as you declare a business major and then meet those success standards, you are automatically admitted once you reach those standards. So there is no secondary application you have to fill out. Um, in meeting with an advisor too, we can help make sure that you're on track to be admitted in your timeline to graduation. Yeah. Our mantra is see your advisor early and often <laughs> mm -hmm. because we believe in no surprises. We want <laughs> you to graduate when you want to graduate and uh, we'll help you get there. Um, here are some things that happen outside of the classroom. And my guess is you're gonna have some, some specific questions about classroom things as well. But I um, wanna emphasize that, you know, we want to develop you not just in um, your general education and seeing the world differently um, as a result of being in college, but also the things that happen outside of the classroom that reinforce what you're learning in the classroom. We know that employers are looking for students with well-rounded experiences. And so we offer some things to students um, that really is up to you to take advantage of. We do have internship opportunities and those internships can be done for credit and count towards your curriculum. And again, through advising, we can help you figure out how that works. Or you can do internships not for credit and to um, just build that resume and to get an idea of what that work world is going to be like. Um, it can contribute to your degree completion. We leverage our career center friends um, very much in terms mm -hmm. of helping us publicize those internship opportunities and work with students on resumes and interviews and so forth. And that, inter that uh, internship experience really focuses on goals and outcomes. So students identify on the front end. These are the experiences I'm going to have based on the job description of my internship. And um, the faculty member will help you um, stay on track to meet those outcomes. So when you finish that internship, you have a really strong skill set um, that you work toward and, and completed. We also have a mentorship program, um, and this is run through our academic units where students have the opportunity to engage with a professional mentor in their field. And these are people out in the community. These are our business professionals. In some cases, they're alumni. In some cases, they're not. But they're people who are doing what we know our students want to be doing in the next 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, we pair them with somebody and they work all year long with certain touch points and building that relationship and, and helping to network. Um, so that's another great opportunity that starts in the fall and goes all the way until the spring. We also have many student organizations and they, uh, the university has many, hundreds, but Seedman has um, I think we're at a baker's dozen. We may have just added a 14th. Um, and we support these and we offer them to students. You know, you don't have to be in a specific major to be interested in joining one of our organizations. Um, we have many of them. Um, some of them that might be more specific like our internal auditing organization, 
but we also have the econ club that anybody might be interested in understanding just economics in general and the economic impact um, within communities. Um, we also have some business fraternities. The um, leadership opportunities that emerge as a result of being a member of a student organization is priceless. Um, it's so wonderful watching students grow and develop and contribute to the prosperity of their student organizations along the way. It's just a lot of fun. Um, also a wonderful way to network. Our student groups bring in speakers and do a lot of company tours and sometimes they travel and they network with our alumni and other professionals. Um, and they're led by faculty advisors as well. So they get a lot of support um, from the college and from the community. We also encourage study abroad and that can be done um, through a summer short-term program, a semester, or in some cases, an academic year. We have really strong international partnerships um, at the university, but also through the Seidman College of Business. And our belief is that if you really want to go abroad, and I know right now with COVID, things are a little goofy, but when things are opened up again and we can freely come and go, um, we want to help you understand how you can do that without taking extra time. Mm -hmm. So planning is really important. And so as Sarah mentioned, the advising piece is, is really critical. It certainly is when it comes to study abroad, because we want to make sure that when you, when you go, we know what those equivalencies are for the courses and you're not losing any time and the credits are maximized um, towards your degree. And I think I have one more thing down there that I cannot see on my screen. <laughs> oh, there are scholarship opportunities. So never feel that studying abroad is going to be beyond um, financial capability. There are some wonderful scholarship opportunities for students to take advantage of. Um, we, our alumni will give specifically to the study abroad funds. Um, those are folks who actually went away and want to give back to students. So um, definitely keep track of those opportunities. All right. We also have something unique to Seedman and it is called our Tracks program. It's a professional development program to help build soft skills. Our employers say, hey, we trust you with, our, with the, the students that you're, you're teaching and the, our future employees in terms of business acumen. We know they're gonna come out with a solid business education. We have no doubt Grand Valley is good at that. What we wanna see is more in terms of soft skills. So we have this program where students throughout their entire time at Grand Valley, and you don't have to be a business student to participate in these events. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but we have different programs throughout the year for students to take advantage of uh, within the categories of communication and professional skills, strategic career development, leadership ethics, ethics and integrity and global and diverse perspectives. And 99% of the time, these events bridge two, three, or even all four of these categories. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a way to connect the classroom and what's happening in the classroom to the real world and situations and environments. We leverage what's called the no do be philosophy, which really came out of the military, but it's also a focus of graduate education and business. Um, that we start by helping individuals know who they are. We give them the opportunity to try things and do things, and that contributes to developing the whole person. Um, so that is the, the focus of our professional development within the Seidman College. And the website's right there. Um, it's just gvsu edu backslash Seidman tracks. And you can see our calendar of events, which is constantly evolving mm -hmm. and we just added another one today. So that's exciting. Oh, and there we are in a nutshell. Um, that is our website or our email. If you wish to email us any specific questions after our session today. Um, and I'm thinking that Wallace may have some questions that you have sent in and we'd be more than happy to answer those for you. Yeah, I think we do have a question that was asked um, and I think I'll turn it over to Sarah uh, to maybe uh, take over in that regard, so. I'm sorry, did you direct that at me? You cut out for just a second. Uh, one of the questions was, how do you meet with a business advisor? 
Um, so this one can kind of involve both Dana and myself because uniquely to Grand Valley, students are assigned two advisors. Um, so we make sure you get plenty of support. You get one faculty um, advisor, so that would be a professor or a teacher within your discipline. So they're really in the know of that particular industry or business that you're interested in learning more about. Um, they may have some like internship connections or business collection connections and colleagues that they can reach out to. In terms of the professional advisor, someone like myself who's helping you navigate college in general and pick out your courses. Um, each advising center, we have various appointments throughout the week. Um, currently, we are doing virtual. So something similar like to Zoom or a phone call. Um, we can't wait for the day that you are back in our offices meeting face to face. Um, but currently you can schedule appointments with advisors online through an online system that GVSU has campus wide. Um, so it's very easy to navigate, pick a time that works best for you and you can reach out to your advisor. Um, I should say that advisors are assigned to you. Um, so, and they are listed, you know, on day, day one. So you have someone to contact. And so, as a faculty member too, Wallace, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're totally fine. Go right ahead. Okay. Um, so as a faculty member, we also advise the students that are specifically in our program. So they get a little more, I guess, specialty advising. And, um, and sometimes the students choose, choose to go to certain faculty members. So even if your advisor is not necessarily available or conveniently available for you, then um, it's certainly, certainly acceptable for you to speak to other individuals in that department or faculty that you have courses with and um, you know, find out more information about the program that you're interested in or, or how to get in touch with somebody that can assist you more. So just don't be afraid to reach out to anybody that you are in contact with if you need some advising assistance. At this particular point, we don't have any more questions in the chat. So I'm just gonna give it back to the presenters. Um, if there's anything in addition to what Dana just mentioned um, that you'd like to add for our viewers, please feel free to uh, share <laughs> and then we'll kind of wrap things up. There is one thing I want to mention, and this is something that, you know, if you were sitting in front of me in a classroom, which is usually how we do these things, I probably would have remembered to mention this. Um, it's, I think it's important as you're visiting different colleges and universities to kind of get an idea of what the real differences are. And one thing that I can say about Grand Valley and what makes us, I think, unique and very special is your ability to really get to know the faculty. The faculty are teaching the classes. We are a teaching institution. We are not a research institution. And that feels a little bit different when you're visiting different um, universities. Um, that means you get to build a relationship with the faculty who are connected with the community, who are connected also with the profession. Um, and that is a huge deal, I, I, I believe. It's a huge deal. That yeah. does not mean that you're not gonna have research opportunities. You will, but um, graduate assistants um, are learning how to do the functional work within their fields. They're not teaching the courses. So that's something that's at some of the larger research institutions that you're not going to see um, as much as what you would see at, at Grand Valley. So I think that's a critical difference to point out um, in terms of how we, how we do things and why we do them the way we do them at Grand Valley. I would also like to add that we do have a certification programs within our um, the College of Business as well. And I specifically teach one in, in our department, but I know there are some other opportunities for additional training. And so you are not limited to um, only your degree, but you also have the opportunity to add on other, other certifications and um, you know, certificates that will also increase your resume and make you a little more employable and give you a little bit of a competitive advantage when you get out into to that job force where you're trying to compete with students from other universities that it, maybe you think that it's a larger university or you don't have a shot at it. But um, I can tell you that the students that come out of our College of Business and our Grand Valley programs are very competitive in the job market. And um, many of them 
have come back to to give accolades to the fact that you know they appreciated the support that they received in our student services and advising and career services to help them really land a job that created an incredible career for them. Yeah, that's a great point, Dana. Our goal is to help you differentiate yourself from the competition. And so that's why we offer you so many different opportunities, the tracks program, the study abroad, the mentorship, the internships, all of those things. You will find the right mix and we'll help you balance all of that so that you um, are ultimately marketable um, out there and competitive when you're out there interviewing for positions. All right, at this point, we don't have any additional questions. So um, Sarah, is there anything that you wanna add before we go? Um, I don't think so. Although I will say just to perhaps it my light, I do have one thing. Um, <laughs> just to echo what Joy and Dana said, um, I was a former student at GVSU myself. Clearly I loved it enough that I wanted to stick around and work there. Um, but I just think it's a testament overall to as Dana and Joy said, the personalized experience you get at GVSU. So all of these resources and opportunities are available to you and they're readily available. Professors remember your name. I remember my professors were upset if they didn't remember my name by like day two out of hundreds of students that they had. So that does make it really unique. Um, and I think it gives students the confidence too to push their boundaries and explore and then just be that more successful later on. All right, so it looks like in the chat, our students just thanked us for, for all of your time and your help. So this was definitely um, a session that is valued. Um, so students, please remember, if you're looking for additional information about Grand Valley, you can always go to the Grand Valley webpage to gvsu.edu slash admissions as well. Hopefully you took note of the Seatman College of Business webpage. But in any event, the admissions office is happy, happy to help you. Um, and we can always get you in touch with the Seatman College of Business if you have any further questions. So I wanna thank Dana, I wanna thank Joy, and I wanna thank Sarah for basically spending their evening telling us about everything that the Seatman College of Business has to offer prospective students. And students, thank you for your time. We wish you the best in your studies. And everyone, I wish you a wonderful evening and a safe and healthy rest of the night. So thank you again, everyone. Thank you, take care. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.